My name's Sarah McGettigan. I am Head of Television Sales and Resources for Pinewood Studios, where we are now. Between us all, we came up with this demo day um, designed to show that technology has come on in leaps and bounds, um, that there's lots of other uses as well as just news and sport. Welcome to Pinewood Studios, those that are not from the uh, actual studios. My name is Mark Pitsy. I work for VizRT, which is the real-time graphics uh, rendering software company. And today we're going to be doing a virtual reality and an augmented reality demonstration. We wanted to show two different types of, of immersive graphics. This is the first type, this is the virtual sets. This is a studio for Foxport uh, we did together with Delta Trail. For that project we were based out in Singapore with Fox Sports, uh, Fox National Channels. Um, they commissioned us to do the, uh, the a virtual set which was a replica of their hard set because they do uh, umpteen hours worth of broadcasting sometimes simultaneously and they wanted to replicate the look and feel they had in the hard set in the virtual environment um, and we partnered with Prometheus who helped us with some of the um, design and the uh, implementation of that. As you probably know we're using virtual sets for years in the news and the sports realm. What we want to show you today is how you can use the same technology, exact same technology, uh, but maybe different ideas and different creative uh, ideas uh, in entertainment shows, uh, chat shows or quizzes or stuff like that. And maybe let's just change the set to the stage that you just saw a minute ago. My so name is Tom. I work at uh, Prometheus in uh, Israel and uh, my job was to set all the animations and graphic assets in the presentation um, synchronizing everything, making sure everything works with in synchronization with what uh, Rot and the presenter is saying. So you can build you can build a whole stage uh, and you can see uh, Augmented graphics in front of me, like the mic here or the speakers, I also have a video wall behind. So I can control the video wall, I can show whatever I want to, uh, I can use it as a real hard set, but in the virtual world. IronCam product is a real-time multi-sensor tracking solution, uh, which basically allows us to figure out the exact movements of the camera. And it does that um, by sort of adopting this stereoscopic approach. Um, our witness cameras on the bar here are looking out into the environment and detecting natural contrast features. And then we send all of the tracking data out of the camera bar into the breakout box and then down to our tracking server. Then all of the tracking data is sent onto the Viz engine over a serial connection um, using the sort of standard 3D protocol. Not only that, this is one way, but if you want to use it, let's say, for example, in kids' show, let's just open the stage and now I'm standing in the middle of of an island uh, and watermelons and, and the sea uh, around me, you can see very different styling. Uh, so you can use different styles. You can use augmented graphics and virtual graphics. So you can see the augmented in the watermelon, which is in front of me and the virtual set is behind me, even the shark here. So this is virtual set. You need green for that, uh, special lightning for that. But now I want to show you augmented. So. Augmented graphics. Augmented graphics is the same as virtual graphics, virtual studio, uh, but you can use graphic elements in hard sets, wherever you want. So let's say you can put a bunny in front or at the back. You can also put something in the ceiling or in the sky, like this air balloon. You can also use a graphic objects um, as many as you want. Let's say 50 bunnies right now uh, around me. With UK broadcasters particularly, green screen and virtual studio environments isn't perhaps the preferred uh, way of, of producing content. So to be able to go in and offer an augmented reality experience so that they can have some of these extended elements, they can help to communicate uh, complex statistical ideas to the viewers, that sort of thing, without having to change any of their traditional setup is a really powerful tool for us to be able to employ. You see two African elephants right now. This is uh, the elephant on the left and this is the elephant on the right. Which one is in the right size? The left one or the right one? What do you say? Okay, let's take this one out and let's see. Yes, you're right, of course. Okay, but you can see, you can see the size of it. And what's, what's nice about augmented graphics is that you can really walk around it and you can really move the camera and take, you know, 
take uh, any angle you want. We just want you to open your mind and to think about how you can use it in different TV shows, you know, use the graphics to enrich your show. 